Hello everyone! Today I am building a church. You see, I'm recreating um, the entire world of Oasis Springs in The Sims, and so far I finished pretty much all the lots that have houses on them, but I did not have any public lots. So I went to Twitter to be like, hey, help, does anyone know what I can build? And some people suggested a wedding church or wedding chapel or something like that, and I felt like that was a really good idea because I never have my sims marry in churches. And that's kind of weird because where I'm from, at least, everyone gets married in a church. And also, I go to church sometimes. Well, not really regularly anymore. Like, I just go when my mom has to sing. But I used to go. Um, I went to a very Catholic elementary school, so yeah. It was also like right next to the church in our town. Um, but yeah, this church is not like any church that I've ever been to. I didn't like necessarily mean to make it a church for like faith or like attending mass and stuff. It's just for weddings, just a wedding venue, I guess. Um, so it doesn't really have any things that you would find in a church except for like benches and stuff. And I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, I hope people who are very Catholic or like who go to church a lot or not offended by me not making this like a, a holy thing uh i'm not offended so yeah i <laughs> hope you're not either anyway this church is kind of based on the churches that i have seen well at least the outside it's kind of based on uh, the churches of southern europe uh, they tend to be a lot more light and they have lots of decorations and they just i don't know in my opinion they look very very beautiful so that's what i wanted to make here um, you don't really see churches like that here, you usually just see brick churches that are kind of dark. I feel like the churches here are more of a uh, so-called Roman style, I guess that's what you call it in English. Um, at least when I had history and art and stuff in high school, I had to study what uh, the difference was between a Roman church and a Gothic church, and I think this is more of a Gothic church. Not as in it's like dark and scary, because it is not, as you can see. I'm making it very light, but it's more that Gothic churches had very big windows and stuff, they were a lot more light and they were like a lot more high. I try to add a lot of windows and a lot of decorations, because I just love those kinds of churches, I think they look amazing. But yeah, um, it's just a wedding venue, there's not that much else to say, I think. Um, when I'm recording this voiceover, I haven't finished it yet, I just I need to add some decorations to the inside, but I have finished the outside and I've also posted it to Instagram already. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, you should. Um, for some reason, I'm way more successful on Instagram compared to like YouTube and all that stuff. I don't know what's up with that because I only started doing Instagram actively like a few months ago, maybe. Like maybe it's just really easy to grow on there, but yeah, follow me if you want to see pictures like almost daily. Uh, I sometimes put stuff in my story, so yeah, very exciting stuff happening on Instagram. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to record this voiceover now because I'm home alone, my family's all at work or at school, and the stupid construction has finally stopped. Or well, it hasn't stopped. Some stupid neighbor was being very very loud this morning, I don't know what he was doing, I think he was like drilling something, but yeah, it was very loud and annoying and I was studying and I got interrupted, so I was like, you know what, um, if he stops doing that, then I'm just gonna do a voiceover. <laughs> because, you know, apart from him being awful and very loud, it was a perfect time to do a voiceover. Because I couldn't concentrate on doing school stuff anymore anyway, so yeah, there's that. I've been having that lately, where I either focus on doing stuff for YouTube or I focus on school stuff. But it's, it's really annoying, because I shouldn't be focusing on YouTube when I'm busy with school. I mean, I'm not that busy at the moment, but still. I try to like stay on track and just try to do a lot during the semester so I don't have to do everything last minute when there's exams coming up and stuff. I have my first exam in 
two weeks or something like that so I'm trying to like do something every single day but I'm, I don't know if it's gonna work and I'm already stressed because I'm definitely in one of those periods where I'm taking YouTube a little more seriously because I, I don't know I just really like doing it but then I neglect everything else like I it's like I can only focus on one productive thing at a time I'm not even sure if I think YouTube is super productive because I'm, I'm not really gaining anything from it except for fun I guess so that's good you know a little dopamine rush is always nice <laughs> um, but yeah I should really focus on school too so I don't think I'm gonna be posting that much the upcoming weeks I'm just gonna be finishing some speed builds that I have left and um, just recording voiceovers for some you know things that I recorded previously uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like do any really big builds but we'll see uh, what I can come up with like normally I will just study my ass off and then somewhere towards the end I'll just be so sick of it that I'm just gonna play the sims all day and then I end up posting anyway <laughs> even though I'm like no I'm busy with school I can't do anything so yeah um there's that <laughs> if you do YouTube like how do you balance school life and YouTube life like I still don't really know how I do it but I, I, I managed to do it pretty well last year like I I think I had some kind of schedule where I would just do school stuff in the morning for a few hours and then the rest of the day would be like free time or like I don't know time for me to work on a video if I felt like it and I guess that worked I, like, I did really well in school last year so that's nice and I really want to do well again this year but I feel less motivated and I'm not sure why maybe it's just because it's the beginning of the year and I'm still getting used to it but uh, last year I was very excited around this time maybe it was because I had been free from school for like half a year so it was like yes finally something to get back to finally some goal in my life but also I wasn't doing YouTube a year ago so I didn't have anything else to like be productive in and now I do so that's like I have to like separate the two in my mind and just spend time doing one thing and not the other but like my mind is all over the place Ugh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense but yeah really annoying and then I also have to have a social life ew <laughs> well no actually I like doing social stuff but I'm always kind of anxious about not being productive like if I have a party on the weekend for example that means I'm gonna stay up late and I do not have time to do stuff in the morning because then I get up later in the morning and I can't be productive and ugh, I don't know why I think that way because I can I could still be product whoa I could still be productive in the afternoon or just you know go home a bit earlier and you know get up a bit earlier but for some reason that doesn't happen ever usually also if I have a party my boyfriend comes along and then he sleeps over and he always sleeps for a very long time so then I sleep for a longer time too because I don't want to be like yo bye <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs now I sometimes do that if I really am feeling anxious about school but I try to like relax when I'm with him sort of and you know it kind of works but then if he's gone or if he stays for too long I'm like shit now I didn't do anything for school I was I've been so unproductive like I have this idea in my mind that I always need to be productive and it's kind of annoying and I don't know why I think that way but I feel like a lot of people who are in school and are trying to like get straight A's um, or even just try to pass think that way too because there's just a lot of pressure on you when you're in university and especially if you like want to graduate with honors like I do or if you are trying to reach a certain goal um trying to like get a certain job whatever and yeah it's kind of tiring um <laughs> but i do like studying so i don't necessarily see it as a bad thing but it's just bad that i cannot get myself to relax on certain days like it's okay to have a day where you don't study but it's so hard to like think that that is okay i, just, I don't know
if you're still watching at this point like maybe you will recognize this maybe you don't i don't i don't really know um this is not me talking about the speed build anymore uh, at all i'm just uh, complaining about my life at this point um <laughs> Well, in reality, I'm kind of okay with my life. It's just that, ugh, I, you know, sometimes you get a whine a little bit, you know, it's, it, that's nice, a little bit of whining. And uh, yeah, thank you for coming to my top talk. I think it's almost the end of the video. <laughs> so we're gonna end it here. You can find this build on the gallery and yeah, I will see you in my next speed build, hopefully. <laughs>